Once again, another year, another NASCAR driver's season being sacrificed for the system. Martin Truex Jr. was coming off of a runner-up finish in the 2021 Championship 4. Many analysts thought he was a shoo-in to make the 2022 playoffs, but one in particular thought otherwise. Steve, let's hit on some of your surprises. Who, who Circle one that you got. I think the big surprise is I am struggling to put Martin Truex Jr. into the playoffs. Whoa. Um, whoa, indeed. It was hard to believe that prediction at first, but as we know now, that prediction would age like fine wine. Despite Toyota as a whole struggling at the beginning of the year, Truex continued to perform at a high level. Yes, he had the DNF at Phoenix, but outside of that, he started off the 2022 season extremely solid, sitting as high as second in points after the first nine races. His best performances included winning two stages during the Daytona 500, competing for the victory victory in the closing laps at Las Vegas, as well as leading 80 laps at Richmond. So he was by all accounts running pretty well, but was being overshadowed by drivers who were actually winning races. One of the main reasons why Steve Letarte predicted he wouldn't make the playoffs was due to the 2022 season not only being the first year of the next gen car, but also because of the lack of testing as well as the amount of parity it would provide. Take a look at these standings. We're almost halfway through the season and already have 12 winners. 73 points looks like a solid cushion now, but with all this parity as well as some of the problems they would later run into, that points gap would shrink very quickly. Incidents such as the Ross Chastain block on the backstretch at Dover would certainly come back to haunt him. If you can't win a race in the playoff format, the very least you can do is try and be extremely consistent. The second quarter of the season saw Martin Truex Jr.'s worst nine race stretch, finishing outside the top 10 in six of those nine races. And what made this hurt even more was in three of those races, he led at least 20 laps. So it's not like he was completely irrelevant in some of these races. It was just simply a case of bad luck. The third quarter of the season was going to determine whether or not we would see Martin Truex Jr. in the 2022 playoffs. At New Hampshire, he led a season high 172 laps, only to end up finishing fourth. That would turn out to be his best shot at getting a win all season. It would also be the only time he ended up finishing inside the top five during the third quarter of the season, but was still able to finish inside the top 10 during most of the stretch. It's not like they were performing terribly here. We just happened to have one of the most parody filled seasons in NASCAR history. One of the earlier winners that season was Kurt Busch, but since he was sidelined due to concussion like symptoms, this left an extra playoff spot open entering the final races of the regular season, leaving both Martin Truex Jr. and Ryan Blaney to duke it out. Statistically, Blaney had a much more consistent season, which is why he had the slight edge over him. But in the beginning of the regular season finale, Blaney was involved in a multi-car accident during stage 1 on lap 32. He fell several laps down, leaving Martin Truex Jr. with a perfect opportunity to make it in on points. Unfortunately, later on, he was involved in a wreck. Now sitting on the cut line in points, the last thing Truex needed was a brand new winner. Once the big one happened late in the race due to rain, this left a ton of competitive cars out of the race, leaving Austin Dillon as one of the few competitive cars left. He went on not only to win the regular season finale, but clinched the final playoff spot, knocking one of the most consistent drivers all year in Martin Truex Jr. out of the playoffs. Just had too much damage at the end. I mean, just couldn't keep up with them. Uh, the only chance I had was when they get side by side and start checking, the, checking up the line and I could get back to them, but um, just way too much damage to have the speed at the end to do anything at all. Come up three points short, it's, um, it's pretty tough to swallow when I know we could, uh, we could do something in the playoffs. No emotions, Bob. Come here and race. It's another race. Just got to come here and try to get it done. And we did our best. And uh, it wasn't enough today. Missing the playoffs by three points is one thing. But to miss it entirely with this type of stat line is absolutely painful. A top five points finish in the regular season standings, along with the most stage wins of any driver, as well as the second best average finish and six most laps led, any other season in this playoff format 
that would have been good enough to lock yourself in. Unfortunately, just not during 2022. Now some of y'all see why I have a bit of a problem with this current format. It is entertaining without a doubt, but to have that type of a stat line and miss the playoffs entirely is absolutely crazy. Even though he didn't make it, the potential was still there with him and the team to go out there and try and win some races. Unfortunately, runs at Darlington and Bristol resulted in mechanical failures. It just felt like Truex Jr. was ready for the season to be over after flipping the bird to an engine. Is it finally done? Yeah, blew the seal out, pushed all the fluid out on the right front tire. So, um, it's unbelievable. I mean, uh, what what Harvick say? Crappy parts? Uh, yeah. If you if you're your teammate Kyle Busch, how worried would you be right now? Well, he's not going to worry. He's going to drive until it stops working. I mean, and we have heard drivers that have mentioned loose. Martin Trex Jr. pushing the limit just a little bit too much. Just backed it down up there. Martin Trex Jr. has just wrecked. He got into the wall, a right side tire went down. It goes into turn three. You see it. That seems to be a consistent number. Yeah. 34, 35, right in that lap count. Blue tire. Simple as that. I mean, you know, I guess same as everybody else has been having. Uh, man, ready for this year to be over. With race leader Mark Trex Jr. in front, Kim. And we'll follow the stops first. Ross Chastain. Oh, he got oh, hit coming into his wow. pit stall. And you see him turned around. Absolute detriment to this team who had led. They wanted a little more on fire off, but Mark Trucks Jr. not what they needed here late in the race, Marty. What's the etiquette? Do you normally blend left earlier than you check up? I mean, it seems like an, an, an odd odd kind of stack and then right here great work by the pit crew you see the jacket hit so thankful this pit crew was heads up and had an escape plan very dangerous situation for the 19. yeah i mean gr great response by those guys seeing it coming jumping back over wall that's the main thing nobody got hurt that was really scary looking but let's see, let's his, listen to what kyle larson was talking about i the 19. he did but he was gonna miss a stall he didn't turn it yeah, I mean, I thought he locked the brakes up in front of me, so... So, uh, zero wins, four top fives, 15 top tens, and an average finish of 14.9 was good enough to score a 17th place points finish in 2022. Whether Martin Truex Jr. will make the playoffs in 2023 is still to be determined. But one thing's for sure, along with Kevin Harvick's 2020 season, Martin Truex Jr.'s 2022 season was unfortunately sacrificed for the system. And once again, that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time.